And is it, what's it made? Is it made of iron or? It is iron. Iron. Mm -hmm. Look at that. And so it looks like it's in great shape. Actually, it's an amazing shape. When you're when you're down at that front nose, it's perfect. It looks mm -hmm. as perfect as as iron can be. The um, explosives were attached to the spar. It was one, right? It was one big central farm that was attached to the spar. So the idea was that they went out, they skimmed, you know, the surface. They went out, they pierced the hull, and they were supposed to back up and light the fuse and let it fly, but something went drastically wrong. Is the spar still attached? I think you can... It's not attached. It's actually... Um, because it's several feet long, we had to build another soaking area for it, like almost like a table, and that's in the back of the tank, all the way on the floor in the back. And so what kind of work is still uh, progressing on it? What kinds of things are they doing? So it's, it's deconcreting the rest of the way, so they have already completed the hull, the exterior. But now everything that adhered to it on the outside also adhered to the inside. So, and we only have two scientists that are tiny enough and comfortable enough to, well, one's like not even a double zero. How tall is the interior? Like maybe 40 inches. Oh, wow. 41. Now it's underwater now. It's, con it, that's, not, that's um, caustic solution, that's not water. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, thank you. That's why the nano wall is up because if somebody should fall in there. Okay, and what does the solution do, or what? What's it's, the... it's actually um, desalinization. Okay. So it's like pushing the salts through the iron and also releasing in that process, releasing that concretion. So it allows them to it happen and actually much faster than they anticipated. So they've been able to do that. So essentially, to clean it. Yes. Uh, all right, completely. So now all, so, of it, all of that needs to happen on the inside. I uh, get yeah, you. Sure. If and somebody some, falls in, the water starts bubbling, right? <laughs> not, not quite, but essentially you're going to start melting. <laughs> they use it for a James Bond movie. <laughs> now, two other, other designs, okay. they failed. Mm -hmm. This particular one went on two missions. The first mission that it went on, it never left the dock. They all drowned right there. <laughs> they couldn't get there. Well, less Very experimental. Right. So, I mean, mm -hmm. if it, so if you think about that, right, and I, I think about like other things go through my mind when I first started hearing this from the scientists. You know, they recovered a wallet, they recovered jewelry, they recovered buttons, they, they, they recovered everything. It's like quite a time capsule. Like, why would you have a, a comb for your beard with you? Like, why would you have a, a sewing needle from, you know, like your, your family comes from a line of furniture makers. Why would you have that on you? Well, other people have died in it. I'd want to be separated from you. Mm -hmm. I'd want my identity, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. in, in my mind, that's what I'm thinking. Why would I take, why would I take a pack of good tobacco in it? Why would I take a dime ring with me? Yeah. So they knew what you So, I mean. So they knew they were, the chances of survival were right. risky. Yeah. Yeah. So no survivor ever emerged from it, right? No. Right, so the only difference is, is that this group accomplished their mission. Mm. And that was it. Mm.